At the bottom of this five-story chasm sits a story and a half. A story about a little old lady who stood up to a big new development. You've probably seen similar stories, but I promise you've never seen one that ends quite like this. It started, for me at least, about a year and a half ago when the walls were just beginning to rise. I'd flown here to Seattle to ask the owner of the house why she turned down a million-dollar offer from the developers. For those of you who don't remember that interview... Is there any... Okay. That's probably because it never happened. Even after I sent her flowers and offered to help with the chores. Do you want some help, Edith? No. 86-year-old Edith Macefield proved to be as unwelcoming to me as she was to change in general. But apparently, there was another side to Edith. A sweet side. I found this picture hanging on the refrigerator door of Barry Martin. Barry was the construction project manager. You really ended up enjoying her company. Oh, yeah. This is the man who was basically in charge of walling her in. We got along, and we thought a lot the same ways. When the building project began three years ago, Barry started checking in on Edith, just as a courtesy. Then one day, she asked him if he wouldn't mind taking her to the beauty parlor. Barry obliged. Later, it was the doctor's office, and pretty soon, he was cooking her three meals a day and visiting her on weekends. That explains why she re-gifted my flowers to him. Barry was the closest thing to family Edith had, a responsibility he took very seriously especially after Edith was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She didn't want to be put into a nursing home, wanted to stay there and die in her house where her mother died. And I kind of realized that if I didn't do it, she wasn't going to be able to do that. So even though he has a family of his own, Barry became Edith's primary caregiver. Thanks to him, she was able to stay in her house all the way to the end. That's funny, you know, every time I come in here, I expect to look over there and see her. <laughs> her house is now his house. Edith left it to him. Today, it's not worth a fraction of what it was, but that's okay. I walk around in there and look at things and think about her. Seems the owner still isn't ready to sell. Steve Hartman, CBS News, Seattle.